And still in Oshun State, the Nigeria Police Force and the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps have received new operational vehicles that will aid checkmating crimes in the state. The vehicles were purchased by the lawmaker representing Oriya de Obokun Federal Constituency in the House of Representatives, Oluwa Leuke, as support for the security operatives in some local governments. Rafi Hamid reports. Uri Adeobo, Confederal Constituency in Osho State, has one of the largest local governments in terms of landmass. In the past, a number of kidnapping incidents had been recorded in the area before it was nipped in the board through the combined efforts of security operatives. In our efforts to further strengthen the security of the two local governments, these operational vehicles are presented to the police and the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps. NSCDC by the lawmaker representing the constituency in the House of Representatives, Ulu Olioke. Ulu Olioke said the gesture is in response to the request made by the security agencies. I try to do is to support them with patrol vehicles. And that's why you have them here. In addition, we also bought motorcycles. So, but I, and from, from my assessment, what I did today is not enough. So, we are going to do more. It's also a wake-up call for my brothers and sisters outside, residing outside the constituency who are well to do, to come to our aid, to come to our support, so that they can also do their own bids. This uh, is our division does not have a single vehicle. The, the Nigeria police did not give them a single vehicle. So now that we have a vehicle, at any point in time, you will be able to move faster and better than before. The operational vehicles will go a long way in motivating the security operatives to perform their duties optimally. This, if we have motorized patrols of security personnel, it will go a long way to reduce the uh, incidence of uh, kidnaps. That's number one. It will also reduce the incident of uh, people who are marauding the other and they are going to villages and towns to, to steal or to rob on those express roads. This is an encouragement to them and I believe they will be ready to work harder in a pleasurable condition. Motorcycles were also presented to the operatives of Farmatekun, the Vigilante Group and the Hunters Group in the local government to aid their operations. This they believe, if replicated by others across the state, will enable the state to maintain its status as the most peaceful state in Nigeria. Rafiul Hamid, TVC News, Esauke, Ocean. We begin with the Vice President, Yemi Oshibajo, formally declaring his intention to run for president in 2023 on the platform of the All Progressives Congress, ending weeks of speculations. In his video declaration speech, Professor Oshibajo, who was Attorney General of Lagos State when Ashiwaju Bolatunubu was governor, expressed commitment to continuing President Muhammad Buhari's vision for the country. And senior correspondent Femi Akonde reports. After months of speculations, uncertainty, and what appears to be pussyfooting, Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo has declared his interest to contest for the presidential ticket of the All Progressives Congress. Dear Nigerians, I believe that the very reason why the Almighty God gave me these experiences, these insights, and these opportunities is that they must be put to the use of our country and its great peoples. Which is why I am today, with utmost humility, formally declaring my intention to run for the office of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria on the platform of our great party, the All Progressives Congress. If by the grace of God and the will of the people I am given the opportunity, then I believe that first we must complete what we have started. In a video released online, Vice President Oshimbajo talked about his credentials of how he has worked neck deep in the Muhammad Buhari administration to drive policy implementation and give the government direction. For the past seven years, I have served as Vice President under a true Nigerian patriot, a servant of the nation in war and peace, and a man of integrity, President Muhammad Buhari. We have, together, 
have worked through some of the most difficult times in the history of our nation, but we have remained focused on securing the country, on providing infrastructure, and growing our economy. The VP's expression of interest is the first time a presidential aspirant will formally declare on social media. In this period, on Twitter, the microblogging site, Professor Yemi Oshimbajo has 3.6 million followers. On Instagram, he has 872,000 followers. On TikTok, he has more than 80,000 followers and more than 700,000 followers on Facebook. His engagement using the social media has experienced an exponential growth over the years. Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo, a former Attorney General in the administration of Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, was however silent about his stellar career working with the former Governor of Lagos State, who is also a presidential hopeful on the platform of the All Progressives Congress. Now that he has publicly declared his interest to occupy the most in the meantime, APC national leader and 2023 presidential aspirant Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu has briefed governors of the All Progressives Congress about his presidential ambition. This is in continuation of his consultation with critical stakeholders following his declaration to run for president. Ashiwaju Tinubu met with the governors earlier today at the Kebi State Governor's Lodge in Asokuro, Abuja. At least 14 governors were in attendance, including Kwara State Governor Abdul Razak Abdurrahman, who returned from London to Abuja this morning. It is in collaboration, support, and encouragement of my party, the APC, for my ambition and my mission. Thank you. We say he acknowledged the role of the governors in the last convention of the party, where he, according to him, the governors of the party stated the party by helping in the evolution of the leadership that is accepted and that is widely acknowledged as that which we wish for our party and the governors. I, I responded on behalf of the governors that we appreciate him, we appreciate the message and we will definitely discuss the message at our, uh, one of our forums meeting. At least 39 kidnapped victims have regained their freedom in Zamfara State. The victims who have been in captivity since March and April were rescued by police tactical operatives in Bungudu and Meri local government areas of the state. Addressing journalists in Gusau, the Zamfara State Police of Commissioner Ayuba El Kana says the successes were recorded following search and rescue operations by troops of the command. Among the victims are eight men, 15 females, including nursing mother and 16 children. As a result of the stress they passed through while in the hands of their captors, some of the victims are looking unhealthy. Ten suspects involved in different crimes were also arrested by joint security operatives in the state. Items recovered from the suspects include locally made guns, a car, motorcycles, knives, among others. On the 10th of April 2022, police tactical operatives on clearance operation have rescued 39 kidnapped victims who were abducted in March and April early this year, 2022, at various villages and locations in Bungudu and Maru local government area. The rescue victims include eight men, 15 females, including nursing mothers, and 16 children. On the 1st April 2022, police in Gusau Central Police Station received information from Bauchi State that the above mentioned suspect involved in a minor vehicle accident at a point before Ganjua local government of Bauchi State with the above named vehicle that was stolen at the residence of one Osman Shehu of Anturi area, Gusau local government area. Gunmen have erased the country home of Imo State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice Cyprian Akaulisa. Also raised was his father's house in Obibi, Awoidemili, also local government area of the state. 
In 2021, hoodlums burnt part of the commissioner's house. In the latest attack, the invaders completely burnt the commissioner's house and that of his aged father. The commissioner has confirmed the attacks in a statement. Mr. Akaulisa says the hoodlums also carted away all of his property. The Imo State Police of Public Relations Officer Michael Labatam is yet to confirm the incident. And now to Oshun State, where gunmen have allegedly killed the chairman of the All Progressives Congress in Atakomosa, East Local Government of Oshun State, Benga Ogbara. He was said to have been shot dead midnight in his living room. His remains have been deposited at the Wesley Guild Hospital, Elisha. TVC News correspondent also gathered that his wife and son sustained gunshot wounds and have been treated. The State Police Public Relations Officer Yemisi Okbalola confirmed the incident and says men of the force have been deployed to the area. Members of the APC in Oshu are calling for immediate investigations into the incident. And finally, on the news, the management of a popular radio station, Fresh FM, belonging to gospel singer Yinka Eifele, says armed robbers who attacked the station made their way into the premises by disguising as guests. The general manager of the radio station, Abolade Salami, made this known while speaking with TVC News. He said the fully armed men, who were three in number, walked in and began to take possession of the staff belongings, which included laptops, phones, and other valuables. The general manager, who revealed that one of their transmitting equipment was carted away, added that the decision to compensate its staff would be decided by the management. Mr. Bolade noted that relevant security agencies have been notified and investigations are underway to bring the perpetrators to book. They were caught on our way. We had our security men on land and it was a few minutes to six o'clock in the morning when those people came in. They pretended as, as if they were guests. They took away some laptops, phones belonging to those people on duty, and um, it was uh, due to God's protection that nobody.